Okay, so it's that time of year where a lot of you are needing to extend your posting periods into the next fiscal year for your company. So just a quick recap on what that entails. And uh, so we'll go into administration, system initialization, and from there we want to pull open the posting periods. So as you'll see, you've got your posting periods that you previously have. This is our demo database, but it's uh, going to still allow you to do what you need to do. Um, clicking on the new period. So from there, that's going to pop up. There's really only a couple things you need to do. And that starts out with adjusting the year to months. And then typing in your new year. So we're going to go, our demo database actually has a couple of years already in there. So we've got to jump out, 2016. And from there, we just say add. So automatically going to adjust everything. And as we scroll back down, you're going to see that the 12, 12 months. And right there, so we're starting on 2016-1 and moving right all the way on through to 2016-12. Some of you are probably going to want to know um, when you're posting at the end of your uh, calendar year, you're going to want to come in and adjust out the dates from and posting out a little bit more so that when you're doing invoices in that last month, it can populate in this case into 2017-1 uh, and dash 2. So that's just a little extra something to remind you of and you can do that right now and then you're set and you, when it comes time next year then you just can pull this video back up and fire off your next fiscal year if you do have any questions don't forget you can click on the question mark above here it's going to give you a quick overview of what this particular active window is for so posting periods the names and it also gives you what the statuses are which are located right here great thanks much